John, tell me how it is that you became aware of and involved in Project Healing Waters. Late in 2008, I had spent six months in uh, my local VA hospital here fighting osteomyelitis, which is an infection in the bone in my stump. And the director for recreation therapy came to me and he said, John, we're thinking of starting a program uh, doing fly fishing. Would you have any interest in being part of that? 2009, I got involved with Project Healing Waters and uh, started from there. Started tying with them and uh, have enjoyed it thoroughly. I started as a participant and went on to going, working my way to the other side of the desk. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's been a lot of fun. When did you become aware of Wilderness North's alignment with Project Healing Waters? 2011 would be when I became aware of that. The leaders of the, the branch of Project Healing Waters that was in, at the St. Cloud VA had submitted my name as a potential participant in that event, and I was drawn, and that's when I had my first chance to go up. Had you ever fished the uh, Canadian wilderness prior to that? Yes, but it was a long time ago and it was not anywhere near as far north as we went up to Mimaniska. Well, Mimaniska isn't the end of the world, but you can see it from there, can you? Uh, pretty much, but it's a wonderful place to see. Uh, when you're looking at the woodland caribou, uh, the first wild critter that I really saw when I was up there was a wood, woodland caribou bull that was in full velvet and with a wonderful huge rack. He was absolutely amazing. I understand that you sort of organized this event now. Is that correct? I share the leadership with uh, Mr. Ron Weiss. He had been the lead for it last year and he asked me earlier this spring if I would take on uh, part of the, the leadership and was able to uh, help him out and make it work getting the paperwork together and communicating with the veterans and uh, being able to communicate with uh, some of the wilderness north staff now tell me how many folks were in your in your group this year well we originally started with 14 but by the time everybody landed we were down to 13 so we but we were able to keep 13 so that's a pretty good number when you consider the number of people we're working with but, different uh, medical issues. Now, were there veterans there from both Canada and the U.S.? Yes, there were. There were veterans primarily from the Quebec area um, this year, but we've had them from both ends of Canada, just like they were from both ends of the United States. And when I say ends, I mean east and west coasts. Uh, we also had veterans from Montana and Wyoming, and uh, Pennsylvania. We are often told, particularly from the anglers who fish small, very attractive flies for trout, how surprised they are at the size of the flies and the fish, and particularly that they're able to get walleyes. Now tell me a little bit about the technique that you use with a fly rod in your hand to attract walleyes that are traditionally subsurface bites. There was a fly that was created a number of years ago called the muddler minnow, and it is a fly that consists primarily of deer hair and uh, feathers, and it was to, designed to replicate sculpin, which are not only walleye's favorite food, but it's also brook trout favorite food. And so because of that, I really like advocating for that fly. <laughs> and uh, it produced uh, nicely up there. Speaking of good meals, I trust the shore lunch was uh, <laughs> on the agenda this year. 
Shore lunch is always an ag- on the agenda of the Minisca, and they do such a wonderful job with the fish and with everything else that goes with shore lunch. You, you won't find a better shore lunch anywhere. At Mimanisca, shore lunch is done on an island. And so it's in the, in the pristine beauty of the entire area. There's nothing but water and this small island that you're on. And uh, it's absolutely wonderful. So how'd the fishing go? Fishing went absolutely wonderfully. You know, the purpose of Project Healing Waters is to take uh, soldiers who have, uh, who have been impacted by, uh, by war and give them something to think about besides all of that and to offer a, a refreshing change of pace in their lives. What do you think? Does it work? Yes. And you basically took the words right out of my mouth. Um, you give, between the fly time and the fly fishing, and the opportunity to be in different places. It takes away the major stressors that have a tendency to weigh heavily on one's mind. Well, great. If there was anything else that you would like to share with us about your trips and uh, and about the whole project, uh, have we covered it all, or are there other thoughts that you have had? I would love to thank Alan and Krista Cheeseman for, again, having us there. Uh, The veterans absolutely adored the trip. I've gotten a lot of feedback from them saying this was the trip of a lifetime. And they would love to go again if they ever had the opportunity. 